In this video, I'm gonna talk about operational amplifiers, or in short, op amps. They are used in various configurations like integrators, differentiators, comparators, summing, and difference amplifiers. So in a nutshell, op amps can do math. The basic feature of the op amp is that it can amplify the input signal, which is the main concern of this video. So let's dig a bit deeper and see how they work. The simplified symbol of the op amp is just a triangle with an inverted and a non-inverted input. So if some of you are wondering, what is the reason why they use these confusing names rather than just saying it plus and minus is to make you feel noob a little bit. No offense by the way, but believe me, in the end of this video, you won't be a noob anymore. So moving on. If I want to make a non-inverting amplifier according to the schematic, you can see that there are two resistors, one for the inverted input and one for the feedback. The function of these two resistors is to set the gain of the amplifier according to this formula, which is only valid for non-inverted configuration. So if I set the feedback resistor of 100 kilo ohm and the input resistance of 50 kilo ohm, so after doing a bit of math, we get a gain of 3, meaning that our input signal will get multiplied with a factor of 3. So to give you a practical example, I will use my favorite LM358 op amp, which is a dual op amp IC, means it contains two op amps inside. Now to give power to this IC, I am using this 9 volt battery. This power is needed to amplify our input signal. Speaking of the input signal, I will use my DIY fancy function generator to generate a sinusoidal signal with a frequency of 1 kHz. This output will feed into the non-inverted input of the op amp since we are trying to make a non-inverted amplifier. So at this stage, if I probe the input and the output of the signal with my oscilloscope, we can see a successful amplification of the input signal. But wait. Why the hell there are no negative peaks? Hmm, it makes sense. The reason for that is we are supplying only the positive voltage to our op amp, like 0 to 9 volts. That's why our output only contains the positive peaks. So to get the remaining negative peaks, we have to supply our amplifier with negative 9 volts, so that our output can swing between the plus 9 and minus 9 volts. Sweet. Is in it? Drop a like for this. Now the question is how we can make this 0 to minus 9 and 0 to plus 9 volt supply. So to make this, you just have to connect the two 9 volt batteries in series. Now the remaining negative terminal will give you the minus 9 volts and the positive terminal will give you the plus 9 volts. Now for the center point, you have to take it as a ground. Now all the ground potentials of your circuit will not connect to the negative 9 volt potential. If you do so, you might be able to hear something like this. So be sure to connect it to the ground. Now let me connect the two 9 volt batteries in this configuration. So if I probe the output, you can see in the oscilloscope we are getting a proper amplified AC signal. At this stage, one important aspect you have to notice is that these op amps only increase the amplitude of your signal. They does not interfere with the frequency unless you are working more than 10 kHz. Anyway, now the second configuration of these op amps are known as inverted amplifiers. In this configuration, we just supply our input signal to the inverted input and the rest of the circuit remains the same. By doing so, the output of the amplifier is obviously amplified, but it's phase shifted to 180 degrees. In simple words, the output is opposite of the input and that is why there is a negative sign in the gain of the inverted amplifier. 
So in a nutshell, we can say that in a non-inverting configuration, in which we have to connect our signal to the positive terminal, only the amplitude of the signal gets amplified. But in the case of non-inverted amplifier, in which we have to connect our signal to the inverted input, not only the output gets amplified, but it's also inverted. And now you know why they say this inverting and non-inverting input. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about op amps or any other, then feel free to ask me in the comments. Also, if you have any suggestions, you can let me know. And here is the live footage of a burning op amp. Enjoy after subscribing. <clears throat>